All right. Well, I guess we're gonna do this battle, and then after this battle, see, this is this is my mistake. I thought I was gonna be. I didn't know he recruited so many troops that turn. He must have raised the dead or something. Um, I wish before the battle you were able to raise the dead. So. All right. Perfect. We could have just got a huge hill right here. So. We're gonna put these spearmen here. We're gonna put everyone here. This guy. This guy I usually have around for a while, so. He has the, um, Raise dead, which uh, replenishes each uh, HP and stuff, and then resurrects dead as well. So, this is gonna be hard. We need to take out the crypt ghouls right now. That's our big advantage, is just having the high ground. Send them down at them. These charge bonuses are really what's gonna do it for us. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. I'm just gonna send him straight in there. under attack but it's fine zombies are breaking but basically we're fighting this to do as much damage as we could we're better off just getting him out of here The big advantage is definitely the higher ground here, even though they're really outnumbered. We just had a couple more units. We probably can get this. See, we're gonna pull my zombies out of here, into there. This side is where I really need my, uh... Pin them in the back a little bit. Just need to keep them basically raising the dead to places that I think, see like this need, over here they need it. So we have to do that as soon as we, uh, can, there we go. Okay, so there's a unit dead. I want to go full focus on their leader right now. Take him out. There we go.
Their Necromancer is not good in combat, so he's going to fall. And actually, that's going to bring a very big advantage on me there. The See, look at this. We're we're close here. If we could have took him out a couple before, we might have been able to actually get this. Let's resurrect the dead again here. Try to just keep them in battle. Maybe pull them back actually just a second. Promise he's not high enough level yet, otherwise he'd be able to just completely he may be able to just pull this off by himself. There's none of these people are really that good. If we got rid of the crypt ghouls. These zombies he should be able to just go through no problem. I'm gonna see if I can save these spearmen over here. And then I may be able to pull this somehow out of my ass. Because he's not going to fall. He's got a very high um, leadership buff and stuff like that. Um, let's see if I can just... If I can save that unit over there, that would be really big. Because they're really fighting a lot of stuff. Okay, so they're going to send some crypt ghouls at me, which I need to come encounter them. Those are the first. As long as I take them... Okay, so they're dead. So basically, it's just him against everyone. So let's see how beast you really are, man. Just want to see him just murder people. The zombies aren't going to do anything. Might as well just kill them while I can. I mean, they'll do very little. But, like, see, like, things like that. You just keep on healing himself, too, to be honest. Come on, do this shit, man. Now see his morale is going down. He may, he, if he doesn't, if his morale and stuff didn't go down, he may have been able to do this by himself. So, turn on the crypt ghouls. Start fighting them. Try to just mess everyone up over here. Not bad. He's got no leadership buffs or anything. That's the problem. If he had a little bit of leadership, he might. Look at this fucking lord. He's a. He's my favorite already. I love this guy. If I can, like, get my way out of here. They're losing morale to just this one guy just <laughs> beating the shit out of them. So, basically, the Crypt Ghouls are now dying, so... I want to just route the Spearmen. He's a beast. He's going to be my favorite lord ever. He's never dying. Resurrect and heal himself really quickly while we have the chance to do such. Where are they all going is my question. So is this... Okay, those are skeleton warriors. Zombies, I don't have quarrels with. Uh, the skeleton warriors are won't be too bad. The major problem is these last crypt ghouls. They're exhausted. He's exhausted as well. 
I don't blame him. He's taking on literally a whole entire army of people by himself. Like, yeah, I can't wait. He's going to rank up like 15 times. This video is going a little bit longer than what I was going to think it was going to be, but I didn't think I was going to have to do uh, like a beastly one night, like one, one last stand with this guy. Mm, not yet. Not yet, not yet. Actually, yeah, do it again. Heal himself again. That's, I think, the last deal that he's going to get in. Against the zombies, I've, I don't really have much problems with them. I just need to break him free just to get that last, like, morale. Yeah, let's see if I can get him out now. See his last little morale buff here, and then turn on the skeletons. Should take him out. The rest of them. See, he's he's getting them. So my major attempt here is to just take out these last crypt ghouls with the charge here. Completely you just come in and wreck them. Even though that's going to let the zombies hit me in the back with a, a little bit of a terrain buff. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even need an army. I just buff him, buff him up a lot. He just does things by himself. Yeah, the only reason why this is working because this is such a pathetic army of zombies, basically. Um, it's actually frustratingly long. See, he's, uh, he's actually losing a lot of morale from this. Yeah, escape. Let's see if I can just get my way back up the hill. Hit them back downhill, I guess. Um, buff us his health again. Use the little spell. Buff everything up again. Okay, so he needs to get out of here now. Alright, so that just... That's basically what I'm going to try to do, is just charge everyone. He's got plenty of health to just keep on running from these. He's got no more health buffs here. He's getting murdered. The last charge from the crit pools may be a little... So he's not getting hit in the back now. So that's the main objective is to just kind of corner him off and just have him one fight him on the front. You know, those couple units on the back won't do much, but see, now he's, he's just completely brutally, brutalizing him again. What a beast. What an absolute beast of a guy. Where's this last crypt ghoul? Look at him. Boom. 41 minutes of just... Let's get this last crypt ghoul. Actually, let's get him out of here really quickly. Let's uh, treat him out. Let's get him out of here. Our time is now. Damn, he went straight into the middle of all that shit and just went for it. He does not have any more spell to 
regen any of his health. This last battle is killing me. It's going so long. I think we should have this. Manfred, what is the what's left? Zombies? Yep, zombies. That's it. So long as he doesn't lose his morale, he's got this. They can't actually kill him, I don't think. Oh, they can, but like, it takes a very long time. I think he'll kill him first. Surprised they're not routing or just instantly dying off from not having a leader. Let's uh, super speed this. surrounded now. They just completely sent everyone in there. He's got this. He's got this shit in the bag. There we go. He won. Wow. Holy shit, guys. He beat them by himself. 481 kills. Holy shit. He's crying back to that fucking castle. Uh, yeah, it was them. Okay. Alright. Holy shit, guys. He just completely did that by himself. Like, no shit's given. Fucking hell. That's ridiculous. He only went up a rank. Let's get you ranked up in that, first of all. And retreat you back to the castle. What is this, just a normal army? Alright, guys. Well, I'm gonna end the video here. That's been very long. I don't know if I'm gonna split that into two videos, but... I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. It was really epic, and it was a lot of fun, and I can't believe that he just fought all that shit off and got like 450 kills. So this has been Epic Clips, and I will see you guys in the next one.